boys. You've got to let me know what you think of the haircut. I got it quite short, probably a bit too short. Right? But I still think it's good. I got a fade. So, let me know what you think. Now the video, the more important things. More important than haircuts, okay? More importantly, we are talking about alcohol slash partying and its effect on building social skills, right? I was really big into this environment, into the partying lifestyle for months and months. And this was about a year and a half ago when I suddenly, probably less than a year and a half ago, probably more like a year ago. And I realized that I need to get out of this space because it's not doing me any favors, not just for the health side of it, but also for the, the mental side and the social side. I very quickly realized that when I wasn't drinking around the people that I typically drink with, I couldn't even hold a conversation. Like say for example, like we went on a hike or something. I couldn't hold a conversation with these people because they're not interesting. It's all just laughs and giggles that are caused by the alcohol. That you're not friends with the people themselves, you're friends with the substance that you do together. And it's like, I don't actually remember a time that we went out and did something that didn't involve alcohol. Like these people are all good, good people. I have nothing against them, but this is just my personal opinion, is that we didn't get along. We didn't have any sort of deeper, you know, bond, like as, as friends. And that's just the reality of it. And once you realize that, it just kind of disgusts you. And that, that doesn't, that's just talking about like the friendship groups as well. I'm not even gone into the clubbing aspect and like the going to meeting new people side of it. Well, there's this one instance when I started to get into this environment where I was like, I was at um, Spoons, which is like a pub um, chain in the UK. And then you can like order on your phone, you can order drinks to your table. But I typed in the wrong table number. And I was a few drinks in at this point. I typed in the wrong table number and I realized, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna sit on this random table and stop talking to these people because my drink's gonna come here and I don't want them to steal it. So I did. That was like something I never ever do is go up and talk to like three random strangers, three girls. I think one of them was quite attractive as well. Just sat on their table and started talking to them. I, they were very receptive and very cool about it. But there were people I'd never talked to. Like after I got into a conversation with them, they were like, I don't know, they were weird. I didn't, thinking back on it, I somehow managed to hold a conversation with them. Um, that's something I'd never be able to do when sober. So <laughs> the moral of the story is it turns you into someone that you're not. And it gives you this false confidence that you don't actually have. And it kind of like boosts your ego a bit. And then when you come out of that lifestyle, when you come out of that environment, it's just like you're this awkward person. And this happens to nearly everyone in this lifestyle, like you walk past the street and you recognize someone that you've once gone to a party with, they won't look at you, they won't like nod at you and say, oh my God, hi. No, they, they probably won't even like acknowledge your existence, bro. <laughs> like they don't care, they only care about the drug itself, they don't care about the people actually in it, actually cons like with them, spending time with them, socializing with them. So, and then, and another thing is, yeah, this false sense of confidence, right? It's giving you a, like, a very skewed view of yourself. And when you go to clubs and stuff like that, and you start talking to, like, the opposite sex or whoever you're attracted to, you start talking to girls, and you're able to, like, pick one up or something, you'll realise that, Okay, firstly, I don't have this false sense of confidence. Secondly, they're just out here for the same reason I am, and that's to get drunk and to get that dopamine hit. I was looking for my wife in a club, bro. <laughs> I was looking for my wife at parties and, I don't know, just alcohol fests, right? It's the complete wrong way of going about it. Like, if you found a very good person at party and a partner that you're still with and that you're happy with them respect to you but i think you're one out of 10 percent one sorry one out of 10 percent i think you're 10 percent or less of like the average relationship that grows from partying and stuff like that normally it's just like sex and then 
some sort of relationship and then someone cheats and then it's over and then maybe they get back and it's just a horrible abusive emotionally emotionally abusive relationship it's not it's not what you want to be in so bro that's my message to you today is you need to get out of this space and you, you try and socialize with people completely sober and then maybe the old occasions like do you guys want to go out for a drink then you do and then you have a fucking awesome time and it's just so much more worth it like i've done this with my boys with my mates at taekwondo right we go out um go to competitions and shit like that and we talk all day um we talk about competing we talk about the sport we talk about other things other interests and then you're like okay so we're going to the pub later because we've just done this competition and like some of us got gold medals and some of us did amazingly and it's just like we all come together and we all go out for a drink we have an absolute blast like i'm talking about rolling on the floor laughing and this happened last just earlier later last year and then like december we went to this competition right we had a good day some people lost some people won but at the end of the day we come all together all come together we go on a bit of a pub crawl have a few drinks and you're not even drunk by this point you've maybe had like two or three drinks and some jokes that these people are saying and like the amount of inside jokes that you get from spending a lot of time with people and actually having a good laugh and good connection that when alcohol is involved it just gets horrendously like dangerous and hilarious so we were just me and, me and one of the mates was in the group and we had to literally go to the bathroom to stop laughing like we were literally on the in the bathroom just couldn't stop laughing because we had to get away from the crowd because it was like we were drawing too much attention in like the pub so bro you need to you need to look for these kind of interactions with people you need to look for these relationships which aren't based on substances and it's such a basic message but it's so important and it's so easily easy to mess this up especially if you're going to a new environment like university or something like that and you just want to make friends you need to make the right friends and that's why i recommend joining some sort of club where you do things regularly sober you get to connect with people sober not at a party not with alcohol or any other drug so much more fulfilling bro that's the message today. Thank you for watching. Peace.